How's it going guys? This is your friend Vognis here and welcome back to the game The Dream Machine. So we finished talking to Mr. Squirrel who got his kneecap stolen by the organ thief, which is pretty messed up. And now we gotta go kind of figure out what's going on in the rest of uh, whatever her name's dream is. At least her dream is a little bit more uh, lush, colorful, you know? Oh shit. Halt! Who goes there? My name's Victor. I don't mean any harm. Victor, eh? Have either of you seen this guy before? No. Never. Of what house? Sorry? What's your house name? Uh... Neff? I'm of the Neff house? Never heard of them. Me neither. He doesn't appear to be injured. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. He's the thief. Let's grab him and beat a confession out of him. Hey you! Get over here! We just want to talk to you. Sorry, I think I took a wrong turn back there. Those guys thought I was the organ thief. The fact that I wasn't injured seems suspicious to them. So I guess I have to do something with that, huh? Make myself look injured? Oh, I took the lid. Okay. I'm just gonna explore everything because I got no idea what to do. Okay, so the game crashed last time when I tried to go in here. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Everything's fine. So they were suspicious because I was injured. I wonder if I can maybe borrow some of his blood. I hope you'll excuse me not getting up. Can I borrow a bandage? Are you hurt? No, but it might be a good thing to have handy. Good thinking. Take it, by all means. Okay. So I have the bandage. Maybe applying that to myself. With some of his blood. You want me to patch you up? No thanks, son. My granddaughter will do that when she comes back. Okay, well. If you want to wait, that's cool. Okay, maybe if we go back now with the bandage on our arm, they'll accept me as injured. They didn't fall for it. I guess I have to make the wound look more convincing somehow. How does he know? He didn't even walk over there. Was that a glitch? There he is again. He's got a bandage on his arm this time. That doesn't look like a wound the organ thief would leave behind. No, it's far too neat. He probably put it on to appear injured. Oldest trick in the book. He must think we're a bunch of dunces. Let's beat him to a bloody pulp on pure principle. Pin principle. Agreed. Then we can cut his stomach open. I'm sure we'll find all the missing organs there. A severe beating will suffice for now. Hey, you! Get over here! We just want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, you said that in the beginning. That's weird. Maybe I can use the bandage with you. you. Want me to patch you up? No thanks. Better leave that to the professionals, eh? You're ridiculous. There we go. Jesus. Oh my god. There we go. All that for that little red dot on the floor took forever there he is again he's got a bandage on his arm this time he actually appears to be injured you there what happened to you i got jumped by the organ thief bastard knocked me out and nearly took my arm off but well, i'll be damned i thought you were our man sorry to disappoint don't worry about it in fact your arrival is most timely most timely indeed why is that a scout has shown up for hasn't shown up for her patrol. She's probably home sleeping or something. She's probably dead. Where do I fit in? We'd be much obliged if you'd help us look for her. How should we do that? To find in a small group and search the forest? That's the problem. We can't leave this spot. The organ thief was reported running down the path behind us, so we're guarding it to prevent others from getting attacked. What's in it for me? Nothing. 
accept our gratitude. And that goes a long way these days. We'll be your new best friends. Alright, I'll try to find her. Again, as everything else with this game, that took some time. Man, did that take some time. water wheel an old water wheel has fallen over and lies rotting in the underground in the undergrowth the undergrowth there's multiple paths to follow here let's head to the right there's a house resembles the shape of a face it's overgrown and crumbled a remnant from the past night's dream perhaps path keeps going on the door won't budge I think it's been nailed shut whoever left this place didn't want people rummaging inside wow look at this pick up four twig I'll take that move lily pad can't reach it what does that do oh I just noticed her holy shit hello hello mister that has to be the organ thief right there right She's got blood all over her. Are you alright? I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know anymore. What happened to you? I lost my heart. I think I must have dropped it here in the tarn. Can you see it from over there, mister? No. Are you sure you dropped it? No. But what other explanation could there be? Somebody might have stolen it? That's possible too, I guess. But why would anyone do such a thing? I don't know. But I'm trying to find out. What do you know about the organ thief? Organ? Thief? What's that? Never mind. It's probably her. You mean snakes? Sort of. But a lot bigger. In that case, I haven't seen them. There's plenty of toads around here. Some of them are really big. Have you seen a black wall around here? You know about it too? I thought I was the only one. It's somewhere behind me. I can feel the eyes staring at me sometimes. My friend went too close to them. Your friend? Yes. The blue moose. The bull moose. Did you know him? I'm afraid not. I have to go. I'll be right here. You are... Creepy looking. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know what we're doing. Other than moving this lily pad here. Okay. What about the shovel? Hey, that did something. What does that do? What the heck? I just don't understand. Must be something to that. No idea what though. Let's go check out the other place. Oh, someone's here. And the path goes on even further. Wow. Hello. Huh? Stay back. I'm warning you. I can pierce a ladybug's eyeball with this thing. Relax. I'm not here to steal your organs. I hope so. For your sake. 
If I so much as smell a knife, I'm putting an arrow right between your eyes. What happened to you? What do you think? I got jumped by the organ thief, of course. How did it happen? Last night, I was on my way to a patrol meeting. I got jumped from behind and had both my legs chopped off. Just like that? Just like that. Must have used one hell of a blade. I was over in a, it was over in a matter of seconds. When did the attack occur? Yesterday, just after supper. That's probably why he pinned me so easily. All my energy was in my belly. I've been sitting here since then, defending myself against wild animals and worse. I'm so tired I can't even keep my bow up. The patrol is looking for you. They're taking their sweet time. I've been sitting here all night waiting for them to come get me. It's a good thing you happened by. You can point them in my direction. I'm out of arrows, so I won't be able to defend this position any longer. Alright, I'll tell them where you are. Great. You can have my bow as a reward once I'm rescued. I don't have any arrows left, but the bow is still a good deterrent. If they don't look too carefully, I'll go talk to them. Thanks. Looking for Selma? Then stand in line, buddy. Lots of people need our help these days. Just look at me. You think this bleeding will stop itself? You don't know where she is, I take it. I haven't seen her in a few days. She lives with her grandfather not far from here. You might want to try there. I tried that. He doesn't know either. Not much, unfortunately. That's still a mystery. Despite countless attacks, nobody has gotten a clear look at him. But I think his luck will run out. His attacks have been increasing in frequency. I think he's getting overconfident. He's bound to slip up and make a mistake any day now. That's when we'll pounce. Why is he stealing organs? Frankly, I think he eats them. He's got an appetite for flesh. What other explanation could there be? He's probably gnawing away on my legs as we speak. I hope he chokes on them. What does he look like? Aside from wearing a dark cloak, we don't know. He attacks during nighttime and moves like nothing I've seen before. I could swear his feet didn't even touch the ground. Okay, see you around. Yeah, let's get out of here. What's the point of the mushrooms? I don't understand. Whoa. Examine these candles. These candles seem to be made from beeswax. Still quick save. This game's been crashing a lot, so just being safe. Salmon rock. Probably depicting some old forgotten god, a remnant from past night's dream, perhaps? Pumpkin patch. Some jack o' lanterns are sitting in the pumpkin patch. They've seen better days. Is it him? It kinda looks like him. What makes you say that? The slightly orange skin tone. The round bulbous head. The stem-like tuft of hair. Well, I'm not convinced. Who do you think I look like? The heir to our kingdom. Have you come to claim your throne? And uh, no? Who am I supposed to be the heir to? Why, the Pumpkin King, of course. Which would make you the Pumpkin Prince. That's blasphemy. We can't just give the throne to anyone with a passing resemblance. He could be a conf confidence trickster, for all we know. What makes you think I'm the prince? You look just like your father. Only slightly more human. I guess we can't be totally sure, though. I say let him perform the test. Only then can we be certain. What test? According to the old legend, only the true heir to the throne will be able to pull the fork scepter from the shores of the enchanted lake. Fork scepter? You mean this twig? He has pulled it from the shore! Only the true heir would be able to do that! He is the one! Well, I'll be. I apologize for not believing you earlier, sire. My stubborn doubt blinded me. Don't worry about it, it's cool. 
That's most gracious of you, my liege. So now that I have the scepter, what happens now? Now you claim your throne and rule this land for all, as long as you live. <laughs> the little pumpkin patch is mine now. The great and proud pumpkin nation. Sire, if we are to crown you, we must first know your name. I'm Victor Neff. All hail King Victor the First. Supreme ruler of the pumpkin patch. Let the festivities commence. Huzzah! Amazing. Okay, I've got to go, guys. We'll safeguard your kingdom in your absence, sire. I love you, pumpkins. I'll see you later. Is there anything I can do for them? I guess not. There's a bunch of eggs in the nest. Steal an egg. Why would I steal an egg? Whatever, we'll steal an egg. Probably going to need that later. Who's there? My name's Victor Neff, ma'am. Another mob member here to harass me, eh? No, I'm not. You have three seconds to get off my porch. Or I'll fling you to one of the corners of this forest. I'm looking for someone. Three? I'm not leaving until you see me. Two? I just want to talk to you. One? I can make you leave by force. That's it. Time's up. I guess we'll do this the hard way. Whoa, she's magic. Oh man, what happened? I feel like I've been turned inside out. We're back here, might as well talk to them. Any news? Have you found her yet? She's been attacked. The thief took both her legs. That's why she's been unable to come. That's most unfortunate. Most unfortunate. You want me to lead you to her? We can't leave our post. Enoch's orders are quite clear. Quite clear. And with both her legs gone, what use is she as a scout? About as useful as a handle on a snowball. You're just going to leave her there. Don't get me wrong. She'll be greatly missed. I'm nominating her for service medal. For a service medal when we get back to base. Tell you what, you seem like an alert fellow. If you're interested, there's a vacancy among our ranks. Why don't you join us? I accept. Then proudly consider yourself a member of the militia. You're now free to scout the forest behind us. Here's the warning whistle. Blow it if you get into trouble and we'll come running. Now go out there and help us find the thief. Cool. I don't think there was really anything else on the other side anyways. It's an old catapult. It looks like it's been standing here for hundreds of years. Almost all components are completely rotten. And look at this game. It's beautiful. This game is beautiful. The suit of armor is old and rusty. There's nothing but old bones inside. Good day, sir. I'm pleased to see a fellow knight patrolling the castle perimeter. We must keep invaders at bay at all costs. Are you alright? Of course. I'm a picture of health itself. I'm merely taking a break in the soft grass. Did the organ thief get you? I wasn't attacked. I'm merely on my break. So who's this organ thief you mentioned? Sounds like witchcraft, if you ask me. Let's throw the wench in the pond and see if she floats. Have you seen a man and a woman run past here? I've seen it all, my friend. Men chasing women, women chasing men. Sometimes they've been chasing each other in an ever-decreasing circle, only to collide in a passionate kiss in the middle. Oh, to be young again. I'm not a knight. Don't sell yourself short. We need to work on your self-esteem, my friend. 
Just look at me. A knight in a shining suit of armor. At the very peak of his prowess. Indeed, you are most impressive. You really think so? That makes me happy to hear. I haven't been able to find a mirror lately, so I just assume I was still in good shape. Glad to hear I was correct. You look more dead than alive. Don't say that. That's dismissive. If I wasn't on my brick, I'd leap to my feet and haul you on the carpet. I can see your skull through the visor. Where else would it be? In my graves? No, I mean I can see right to the bone. There's no skin, no muscle tissue. Really? That's disconcerting. It's probably just dark fever or something. Nothing that some hot chicken broth won't remedy, eh? I think it's worse than you think. Nonsense. I'm battle-hardened. This is but a temporary affliction. I'm sorry to say it, but I think you're dead. That's an outrage, sir. I won't have more of your lip. Raise your god, son. Here comes the walloping of a lifetime. Where is it? Don't pressure me. Are you sure you're alright? I just need to recompose myself. I might have to yield, sir. I can't seem to get up. Do you still think there's nothing wrong with you? There might be some slight kinks. These darn legs just aren't responding. I must be in worse shape than I thought. Finally, you're seeing reason. I haven't been myself lately. I've been trying to banish it from my mind. But lying flat on your back like this, a humbling realization hits you sooner or later. Like what? I can't believe you're making me say this. You think I don't realize? I'm over the hill. I'm not a frisky colt anymore. There. I said it. Are you happy now? I think it's worse than that. How long have you been here? It's hard to say. Surely not more than a day. My house must be out looking for me. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. We'll have such a laugh once they find me. Yesterday I received accolades from Queen Selma. Today I'm lying flat on my back in a pile of rubble. I wish I could recall what happened in between. I bet it would make for a terrific yarn. Were you part of the castle's defenses? I still am, sir. I am captain of the South Gate. What's the last thing you remember? I was trying to fend off of a barbarian horde when the ground gave from under me. I guess I must have lost consciousness in the heat of battle. Next thing I know, I awoke here. Seems like the South Gate fell. Really? That means the court, the queen. They might have made it. The odds aren't great. Barbarian dogs don't take prisoners. Say, do you live around here? Is it alright if I stay at your place for a while? I'd really appreciate it. It'd only be a couple of nights. My strength will return once I've had me a meal and a full night of rest. I live pretty far from here. I'm not a freeloader if that's what you're thinking. I'll pay my way, or at least help you with chores. Sorry, I can't help you. Well, thanks for nothing then. We could have been friends, you know. We could have been a team. Instead, you spat me square in the face. That's what you did to me. Left me rotting in a pile of rubble. With your cold, venomous saliva slowly running down my face. I hope you're happy. I hope your parents are proud of the backstabber they raised. I don't think you realize staying with me won't solve the problem. And why is that? Because you've been dead a long time. Well, I... I'm not sure I agree with you there. Look at this ruin. This castle hasn't been standing for hundreds of years. You've been dead for a long time. You're nothing but bones in that armor. Going right for the jugular, I hear. But riddle me this. If I'm dead, how am I able to talk to you right now? Through sheer force of will. 
because you're too stupid to realize you're dead. I guess I can be pretty thick at times. Tell me about it. I just wish I could get some rest, sire. You need rest, but not the kind a bed would provide. At this stage, I'll take any kind you can offer. I'm so tired, sir. I'm so awfully tired. I'll see what I can do. Well, that's all the time I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like under the video. And I'm going to make sure that the next episode comes out to you guys on time. So, thank you so much for watching. You guys have yourselves a good day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Bye-bye. How's it going, guys? This is your friend Vognus here. And welcome to the game Trump's World. The satire game based off the legend himself. The man, the one, the only. Donald Trump. He hit me. He's not a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. So we're going to see what Trump has in store for us here.